It's a little cold tonight. Colder than I thought it would be in this town. It seems like the further I get towards the south, the colder it gets. I didn't count on that. Maybe I should have put a little more money into my motel and gotten a place with a heater. I'm not going to be here much longer anyway. I can't stay any place for too long, you know? I get restless. I need new people who don't already know my face. I travel the country looking for love. I can't explain just exactly what it is I look for. Maybe it's a certain bounce in her step. Or her ability to meet me in the eyes and not look away. I really can't explain exactly what it is I'm looking for. But when you find it, you find it. I've only found it five times before. The first girl I found it in was named Stacy. Poor, she had it. She was soft and smelled like something straight out of a beauty parlor. Yeah, that's it. Excuse me, ma'am. You got a minute? What for? Are he trying to sell me something? Why would you say something like that? Do I look like a Mormon to you? Well, Mormons aren't usually leaning against street lamps, smoking cheap cigars. This is an import. Nothing cheap about it. Oh, my mistake. I'm sorry, what is it that you needed? I was supposed to be meeting someone in a few minutes. Well, you see, I I'm new to this city. Uh, I was wondering if you could point me in the direction of the nearest bar. <laughs> you really think it's a good idea to get sloshed in a city you've never been in before? I need to live a little, lady. If I'm gonna get drunk, I'm gonna do it right. Well, there's a bar called Matthew's around the corner. They don't serve any real hard stuff, but they've got beer and a couple of mixed drinks. You gotta go a couple of miles for the real hard stuff. She knows this town. She's probably lived here a long time. Listen. This town seems a little dangerous. And I'd hate to send you on your date unescorted. What makes you think I'm going on a date? A pretty girl like you in a big town like this? I bet you have 110 guys lining up at your door every day with chocolates and roses and all that. I was just going to see my sister is all. Your sister, huh? Are you saying that there's no man in your life? Is that what you heard? Well, maybe I don't want any men in my life right now. Uh, hold it. Uh, are you dumping me before you've been properly introduced? I'm Violet. Violet. Of all the names of the angels in heaven, there is none so sweet. Violet. Violet the angel. I'm Rex. Sort of barbaric. Reminds me of a dinosaur or something. Rex, huh? Wait a minute. Now, we, we just met, and you're already accusing me of being a barbaric caveman. Well, that's all I've seen so far. I mean, what kind of a guy walks up to a girl and asks her where the nearest bar is? That kind of guy only has two things on his mind, and both are concerned with the feeding of his appetite. Well, listen, there's more to me than meets the eye, Violet. I'm caring. Some even say I'm gentle. She's soft. Soft like the ocean waves rolling over the beach. I am gently chipping away at the sand. Listen, Rex. You don't really know me. I don't really know you. If you want to pick up a woman, there's a bar right across the street. There are women that actually want to be picked up there. But I'm not that easy. For all I know, you could be some scam artist who just tricks women into signing their bank accounts over to you. I don't know how many ways I have to tell you to just leave me alone. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid to have a good time? Are you afraid of a little adventure? You want to know what I'm afraid of, Rex? I'm afraid that you'll fall head over heels in love with me, and it won't be the same for me. I'm afraid that I'll get bored of the way you do the same crummy thing day after day. I'm afraid that one morning you'll wake up 
and I'll be gone, and I'll leave your heart broken into a million pieces. But no, I'm not afraid of a little adventure. I'm afraid of consequences. There's nothing to be afraid of, baby. I'm not one of those guys who is driven to brush their teeth at 7 o'clock in the morning every day. I can't stay in one town for too long. I get restless. I can't cope with being a robot to social demands. I think you're afraid because I'm the most spontaneous guy you'll ever meet. I think you're afraid because your gut instinct is to let your knight in shining armor walk away. You know what? I really can't let you walk away from me. Not in this town. Not in the dark and all. You're a stranger here. I can show you the bars and clubs. Just don't go out all by yourself. I was doing all right on my own, baby. I know how to handle new streets. If you come with me, it's going to be for your benefit. You know what, Rex? You're right. I need some adventure. I've lived in this town my whole life. The walls are closing in on me. I think you can show me to a good time. She smells nice. All domesticated and all. That's the same scent that Stacy wore. I never could put my finger on exactly what it was. Probably an import. Stacy was nice. I knew her for about a month before it all happened. It was an accident the first time, but I didn't do it out of anger or anything. I was gentle. See, I have been in those real relationships before. I've had to put up with all the arguments and fights. It never made sense to me. The first few weeks, though, that's what they call the honeymoon period. Before all the garbage piles up. I got to thinking. Why can't I just experience the first part of it, and not the rest? What if I could freeze one moment in time? What if I could freeze the happiest moment? It wasn't easy the first time. She struggled. She screamed. After that, I got better at it. The streets are quiet tonight. Nobody will see us. Nobody will hear her scream. He's just another drifter. It's not like anyone will miss him or anything. That's six this week. It's just a couple hundred dollars. No credit cards. Less than I expected. Oh well. Better luck next time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>